lighting test of the 11000 Enterprise B. You have two power supplies, one for the main power for all the windows and one for the navigational and strobe. The navigational and strobe lights are powered by this tiny little board here from Tenet Controls. It's made for the 11000 Reliant. You can put it in pretty much anything. It's really small, fitted anywhere and does a great job. Now I always ask uh, Ralph to make an adjustment to the boards when I buy them. Um, the board first off as you can see I forgot to light block the inside of the strobe and nav lights so they are always on so you can barely see the uh, strobe light flashing even outside the camera you can just barely see the flash I'm, and I probably forgot to do it in the warp engines too, but what are you going to do? Uh, the strobe light uh, as a default blinks at every half second. I always ask uh, Ralph to slow it down to one second. That times in with the later movies. And then the nav lights, I believe, are on, let's see, three seconds. Yeah, three second intervals. Now, I will have to say this idea with the fiber optic, just little slices of them, worked out very well. As you can see, it's pretty bright. Uh, before they were just kind of dull on my Enterprise B or I mean my Excelsior that's very dull you can barely see barely see the lights lit up at all so this idea came out pretty nice the impulse engines are not done yet uh, I'll have those finished up probably today maybe tomorrow get those painted and put on The impulse engines are also part of the strobe board. You can wire them up to that and they'll turn on when you turn the power on. But I wired this all up before I ordered the board. So it's just going to the main power supply. So I'll just cut that wire down and won't use it. All right. Until next time. Thanks for watching.